Hi, Soul Family. How are you? Happy Sunday, I think it is, right? Um, let's do a quick reading, shall we? Items to choose from. Have we used this a million times? We're going to use it again because I freaking love it. Singing crystal. Crystal ball. Twisted manzanilla. Healing copper. This one. Then... We're going to have the bracelet. Seems like we're going for the same color theme. We're going to do three messages, okay? Healing bracelet or a necklace, whichever you choose it to be. It can't be a necklace because I can't take it off. I can't put it back on, so it's a necklace. And then there's another necklace. This is a, I don't know what this crystal is. I'm going to have, I'm going to take it to my friend and show it to my friend and see what this is. But again, healing copper. And I like this, I like this chain. This is a really freaking neat chain. So here's the crystal. There's a lot of root chakra and sacral chakra, right? Mixed in and protection. There's dark in here. So root chakra, so getting grounded, getting stable. And uh, sacral chakra is a seed of sexual energy and creativity. So anything to do with uh, this driving force that we have, right? So these are the three items to choose from. Let me make sure my radio is not too loud. We're gonna keep it simple. We're just gonna work with the fairies. I've been feeling a lot of fairy energy right now. And uh, so we're calling in the fairy energy. So for those who chose the wand, the healing wand, the magical wand, correct neutrality on all levels, I guess we're gonna pop back and forth between a couple of different messages. Okay, so for those who chose the wand, follow your dreams. And if I were to read this card intuitively, which I wanna do, it's talking about, you're getting messages. If you can see these little angels, there's, they're whispering in, in her ear during her dream time. So, they're, so pay attention to messages that you receive. And even if you wake up from a dream um, and you can't remember your dream, but you can remember the feeling, that's a message in itself because um, your subconscious mind is going to be holding on to whatever it is that your, your conscious mind during the day may not remember it's there it's in it's in there so i'm also looking at the um i ain't worried about it i ain't worried about a thing so I'm, I'm i'm looking at the blue heron the blue heron is uh the jack of all trades the masters of many um the blue heron dances to their own drum they follow their own beat they're very different they're eclectic they're not like other people they see opportunities when others don't see the opportunity and they're able to make something out of their opportunity. So that energy is there. So this could be something to do with a project that you have. Um, and also that there's, there's peace coming to you. Also, you need to rest. Spirit says you need to rest right now. And while you're, while you're resting, it could be also daydreaming, right? Dream about what, what you would like. How would you like to see it? Dream your reality. Dream yourself into existence is what I'm saying here. There could be um, other people's opinions that are tugging at you. There could be, oh, I think I need to do this or I should do this. or oh. And Spirit saying, no, we would like you to follow the whisperings of your heart. What makes you feel peaceful? What makes you feel inspired? What, what brings your passion to life? What makes you feel relaxed and happy and comfortable? The angels are there to assist you. They're telling you, pay attention, pay attention. And there's something within you that, that spirit is tugging at. What is it that you're drawn to? Are you drawn? Maybe you need to go on a vacation. Maybe you need to spend some extra time in, 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 the, um, in nature, outside. Outside is super healing. This is about spending time meditating on, on what it is that you are desiring. And the fact that she's needing rest, take charge of your schedule. So thank you for um, giving me the time that I require to heal, giving me the time to rest. Thank you for giving me the time to work on my projects that bring happiness into my life. Thank you for giving me the time and buying out the time for me so that I can take a, a vacation. Thank you for bringing me to the right people. Thank you for, so that they can make my load lighter. Thank you for... Um, helping me work smarter, not harder. 
right? Look at these, right? We need rest. I, I, I know my message here. I know my message here. I deserve the best. And I'm going to take charge of my schedule and I'm going to decide, you know what, Spirit, I'd like to have the weekends off. I would like to have, that used to be that the weekends were, you didn't work. You didn't work seven days a week like I have been for the last many years, right? So um, Spirit says, don't give your time away to others. When you need to rest, give that back to yourself. Um, the jack of all trades, right? He's busy, busy, busy. But he's also standing in his emotional waters. But look at this one. He's up to his freaking, right up to his belly. They've got long legs. So maybe your emotions, you're, you're carrying a lot. Maybe you're carrying a lot of other people's emotions. And Spirit says, we need you to, to release that. We really need you to carry and focus on your own your own schedule, your own emotions, your own time engaged in activities that you like, about the things that make you happy, about the things that, that bring fulfillment to you and your heart. It's not specifically about even what you do. Um, it's about how you feel and what the energy feels like. Um, I could just walk around my backyard and it feels good. It feels good. So if it feels good, you need to do it more, right? Do it more. I'm going to ask... Um, personal power correct for neutrality let's see what what spirit says is your affirmation because that'll give me more information on what they're speaking about specifically in this message take time to dream take time to dream have an afternoon nap my cats are all sleeping right now on the patio they're in the sun sun is really warm and healing and it's been pretty chilly thank you we like the cooler weather but um take the time and what is it that you really would love? Oh, I'd love it if this could happen. Oh, I'd love it. I would love to go up to the nor Northern California with the love of my life. I would love the love of my life to come here and explore and, and hang out in my mystical, magical garden. I'd like to fix up Duchess with the love of my life. Where is the love of my life, Spirit? Can you bring him in? Right? I am supported. <laughs> yes, you are. I am supported. So don't think you have to do it all. Right? I can take the time to rest. I can take the time to dream. I can take the time for myself because I am supported. What do we ask? Please give me the right people, right? To, lo to lighten my load so I don't feel like I got to carry it all for everyone. And Spirit says, no, we're right here. We're ready to carry you. Allow yourself to be supported like that. Thank you for clarifying that, Spirit. All right. So this deck is screaming at me right now. It's like literally right in my face. And uh, I heard... I'm, I chose the necklace, which I didn't know that I chose the necklace, so now I do. I normally would choose this. I love this. But I, I take all of these messages for myself. I always do. But uh, my shirt says, your mountains are calling, and I must go. My mountains are calling, and I must go. So that's telling me that Bea and I need to go to Thunder Mountain today. She's going to be super excited because I've had these kittens, and I've had my friend visiting, and um, I've been working a lot. Um, taxes were just paid. And uh, it's been hot during the summer, so we couldn't hike like we used to. So she hasn't been getting the, the hikes, and I haven't been getting the hikes that we used to. So uh, I guess we're jumping to the necklace right now from this. So for those who chose the necklace, and I did. Jasper? No. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know what this stone is. I'm going to take it. My friends are at the art show. I'm going to go take it to somebody and, and ask what they think it is. I'm seeing carnelian in it, but it's the color of the stone is um, as important as, as you knowing what it is. The color of the stone is the color of blood. It's the color of your soul. Yes! Cornucopia! I bought my girlfriend Serenity. She just came here to pick up the cat that I, I uh, picked up for her. And... Uh, I got her a present. It was her birthday. And the cat was one of her pre her birthday wishes. The number is 11. That's a divine gateway. I like that. Um, and the picture I gave her, it's called Virgo. It's a, it's a, it's a shaman painted picture. It's incredible. And every time I look at the picture, I said, I see a cornucopia. I see a cornucopia in the picture. So here's a butterfly transformation. So there's something on its way there. No, there's not something on this way. There's something waiting for you. It's just waiting for you right there. It's already there. That's another way how we, we can bring things into existence quickly is seeing it as is. It is here. It is already here. It's waiting. Abundant harvest, abundant blessings. You may find that what you've been 
wishing for mostly deeply is fulfilled. Sorry. Um, right now my cats are all sick. So one wish is that everybody gets healed. Everybody is healed right away. And also, of course, I'm ready for the love of my life. So we may get our wishes fulfilled, but it might be in the form of abundance as far as money, financial concerns. If you're dealing with issues regarding money, um, this is a cornucopia. A cornucopia is, is harvest, right? Romantic love, job fulfillment, um, health, friendship. Whenever you receive this message, the message is you've done the work and the work has paid off. This is the harvest. You have put the work in. The seeds that you planted have ripened and they have now blossomed and they have become something amazing. So get ready, Spirit says. We are preparing something for you, something amazing. Thank you. I accept it now. I am grateful for the abundance in every single way. I said to Spirit, bless me with abundance so I may bless others, right? Because if I'm exhausted, I don't have the energy to help the other people. I, I need to be health, healthy and, and strong and, and happy and lighthearted. Spirit knows that we all need this. If we're we're living in a, in a peaceful environment, we are going to be peaceful. And the energy that we emit for others is going to be peaceful. It's going to be positive. How can we send positive energy out if we're worried, if we're stressed, if we're not feeling well, right? So bless me abundantly in every single way so that I may bless everyone that comes into contact with me. Three of them? Three of them. We get three of them. I am curious. Ooh, I am curious. Curious is the cat and I am the cat. I am curious. So what are you curious about? What do you want to look into? What do you want to do? What 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 makes your uh little ticker start going dit, 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 dit? like what is it that you want to that you want to look at? Turquoise is my soul color. <sighs> I am forgiving. I love this. I forgive myself first and I forgive everybody else that inadvertently has done anything that has ever upset me or hurt me. I forgive the past. I release it and I let it go so that I may heal, right? And I am a healer, that I am a healer. I am a healer. And she's holding on to her heart. So heart chakra healing, right? May the peace within me be also within you. What did I say? If we are at a place like this, then we are able to give out to other people, right? I am a healer. Say it. I am forgiving. I never hold a grudge. I am a freaking Aries and we're known for that. It's interesting. People have a misconception of Aries, I think. Oh, they're, you know, they've got a wicked temper and, and you know, we're, we're the babies of the Zodiac. We're the happy energy. We're the ones that want to go on an adventure. We are the curious ones, right? But we never hold a grudge. And if you do, you're definitely in reverse. I'm a Pisces moon, so I'm very intuitive and very... Uh, very emotional and I'm in a Gemini uh, rising so so I'm kind of like uh, flipping you never know which way it's gonna be but I gotta tell you I never hold a grudge so I am forgiving I am curious so what are you curious about what do you want to look into let spirit bring to you things and and then pay attention to what comes your way and what tweaks your curiosity right what what is interesting to you I love this we're being blessed thank you so freaking much okay correct for neutrality on all levels um next deck which deck that one that's a very small deck not yet correct for neutrality on all levels hold on song right now uh i don't know why i run away i broke your heart like someone broke mine please take me back i want to i want to stay so somebody wants forgiveness and what did i just say i never hold a grudge but i gotta tell you right people have to accept responsibility for their actions and once they do then it makes way for a healing and it's it's all gravy it's like you know we all fuck up right we all do we're all growing we're, we're always a work in progress right babe correct for neutrality on all levels that one for those who chose the bracelet the sacral chakra, the seat of sexual energy and creativity, and the root chakra all together, and the healing. Did I say brass? Copper? Copper. So copper is, copper is in, actually, it's, yeah, it's in every one of our pieces today. So let's, I will add to the bottom of this reading the healing properties of copper. We know it's, uh, people use copper bracelets and copper rings. So there's, and look at the, look at the angels on this deck. Copper. Copper is a message here. Take me back. I want to stay. Save your tears for another day. No more crying, right? Spirit says there's abundant blessings coming in. For those who chose the bracelet, correct for neutrality. 
And remember, you can take all the messages. I always do. It's just that the necklace was my priority message, I guess. Correct for neutrality for you all. Two shuffle spirit, correct for neutrality. This is the whispers of love. Oracle deck, correct for neutrality on all levels. I said some things I should never have said. I broke your heart like someone broke mine. And now you won't love me for a second time. Somebody, so don't ever assume. Don't You don't know, right? Until you ask. Correct neutrality on all levels. I don't like when people uh, drop presents off at the door for an apology and they don't sign their name and they don't say, look, I acted like an ass. I'm sorry. Right? You don't need to give me presents. You don't need to give me anything. Just be graceful and be uh, accept your responsibility for for the things that you do. Because I don't expect any more from you than I would from myself. And, and I would accept responsibility for my own actions. Correct neutrality on all levels. For those who chose the bracelet. For those, there's two decks by this author. I wonder if they want, I'm, I, if, if a card doesn't flip out in the next couple of seconds, I'm going to go to the other deck. Because I, I actually was thinking of the other deck, but we'll see. Whispers of love. Is it, there we go. It's this one. Show simple acts of kindness. Okay, now somebody dropped a present off my door. That was a simple act of kindness. It wasn't really expensive. Um, I've got the little angel wings hanging outside blessing my catio. Um, simple acts of kindness is just caring, right? Being kind to animals. I love animals. They're my best friends. Simple acts of kindness can energize you and bring happiness to those around you. The number is five. So, so this is also... Um, um, he, five is talking about um, significant changes are rumbling through your entire existence at this time. And, and changes, even if it's good for you, can be very difficult or challenging, right? So good idea to call upon spirit for help with those changes. Um, but it's definitely about change. So maybe somebody needs to show. Somebody needs to physically do something. Come out of the ethers into the physical reality, right? Um, but when I'm looking at these animals, animals are healing. And look at how they're coming to this one. They know the energy of this one. They trust this one. This one loves me. I brought uh, a very shut down cat into my house, Bagheera. He's a black panther and I loved him. He had a broken tail. It was crunched really, really badly. And it took me a week and a half before I got him to purr for me. And uh, my girlfriend Serenity is who I got him for. And she has gotten him uh, after his him being here two weeks with me. And massaging him and giving him Reiki and loving him. He had to be upset and brought into a different house. And in one night, she got him where he slept in the bed with her last night. She is a Dr. Doolittleist, just like I am. The animals know they're safe. Now, he is also a healer and a protector and a spirit creature that she needed. And she sent me a message and with a picture of her holding him. And she says, he's, he's purring for me. And she, her two little kids, beautiful little kids, are sitting next to her, little ones. And they all in the pictures on their the picture was beautiful, smiling faces, and Bagheera was right in the middle, and I heard him say, They're safe. This is my family, and I'm gonna protect them, and I'm gonna love them, and I'm gonna take care of them. And so she said he needed me as much as I needed him. And so this is the energy of this. I I work um just out of the goodness of my heart, with my girlfriend, Tina, who is dedicated, Red Rose Thriftique um, in support of animals, Red Rose Inspiration in support of animals art show, and all the proceeds go to helping the animals, and she's been getting real hassles from, from the people, and, and they're not doing what she's asking them to do, and, and uh, I'm asking Spirit to help her, bless her, um, they need a vet of their own, bless her, guide her, show her what she can do, So she because she's so frustrated and so downhearted, and all she wants to do is love them and take care of them. And it matters a lot to me. And I spend a lot of time covering the art shows and videotaping and sharing um, about them because they are my best friends. And it is our job to take care of them. They energize us. They clear us. Remember when you pet your cat or dog to say clear, clear. Because it's they, the dogs don't know how to clear their energy. Cats have to go out in the sun. They're better about clearing their energy, but dogs, they're here to love us. And all they do is love, love, love and absorb all of our energy. So if we're sick, if we're sad, if we're negative, our animals take it on. So be kind to them and get your dogs outside for a hike, Sherry. Yes, I will. So um, this is also a message that, that they are loving and supporting you right now. And when you're kind to others, not just animals, but humans, when you're, when you're kind to other people, it comes back to us. 
And when you are kind and loving to the animals, it comes back to you in many, many ways because we're the gardens, the guardians of the earth. So Spirit says, what ways can you show kindness? In simple ways. We're not asking you to go out and, and you know, buy anything for anybody. We're saying pet a dog when you see it. We're saying make sure that your dog's water bowl is cleaned and, and filled with fresh water. Make sure you're not feeding them shit cat food and dog food. Give them quality food. Yes, you can afford it. You can go without a Big Mac and get them something that they need. Um, adopt a shelter animal, right? You can get a purebred animal from a rescue society. There's too many animals. Spay and neuter your pets, please, so that the there aren't a prolific amount of animals because they die horrible deaths because nobody's caring for them. So, you know, it, it, don't allow your dog and cat to have puppies and kittens. We don't need any more. We have many, many, many that are homeless. If you do have money, donate to animal rescue and animal shelters. To make sure you take it to an organization that you know they're going to help them. This is, uh, I mean, they showed me the animals. I didn't choose this card, right? Spirit chose this card. Simple acts of kindness. And you will be rewarded because when you help spirit like this, spirit helps you. So correct for neutrality. What are your power affirmations so we can see maybe different ways um it could be no i'm looking at people here in in the form of the animals so the deer says you might have been coming out of a difficult situation and you're not quite sure where to put your foot so walk gently on your path the badger there somebody might have been really nasty to you right somebody might the the the, the what is this little guy here um these are weasels and badgers so they go down underground they they back in away to protect themselves. So it may be that you've been through a difficult thing and, and you've pulled in or you've maybe people have snapped at you because they've been going through something difficult. There comes the forgiveness, right? I was going through a lot. I'm sorry I took it out on you, right? I, 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 I'm not I'm not making excuses that I took it out. I'm just saying I was going through a lot and, and I didn't think things through clearly and I just, I reacted and, and unfortunately I spewed it all over you and I feel really bad about it. I'm very sorry. No, we all we all go through that. I understand, right? The fox, the art of camouflage and uh, the ob observance. Pay attention. Spirit will bring to you. Pay attention to the people. I was guided yesterday. Bea um, pulled me across. I was trying to talk to somebody, Zoe, at the art show. And she kept pulling me, pulling me to the other side. And I, and I heard in my head, Nag Chamba. And I got there and there was a candle person there. And the candle was Nag Chamba. And I started talking to the woman. I'm not going to tell you the personal details, but spirit guided me to this woman. Um, she said, what's your dog's name? And I said, Bea. And she said, wow, Bea is the name of the mental health um, person on an, a, a certain reservation. And somebody suffers from bipolar. Somebody is, is and, and, and she was the head. This person is the head organizer or helper or whatever. Anyway, it was just a huge sign from spirit and um, other other things connected to that. So it's like, pay attention, observe, you know, watch, look for the one who's got kind of a downhearted look on their face and say something nice to them or just go over and talk to them, right? Hey, how's it going today? Oh, it's okay. Well, you could tell it's not okay, right? So then just beam love at them, right? Whatever you, whenever you send love out, love comes back in. Who else do I see here? A little por porcupine, so prickly. Again, sometimes people are prickly and it's not necessarily your issue, right? But they're going through a lot. So can you be a little bit more understanding, a little bit more compassionate? I'm looking at that porcupine, looking at a little tiny field mouse. And the field mouse is telling the porcupine its problem. Listen to somebody. Just maybe listen. Sometimes be a hearing ear, right? And then this little rabbit is looking up at, at him as he's with the little ferret. And the rabbit's like, I'm not sure if I can... You know, I, I, I don't know. The rabbit's over here peeking out from behind the rock, but is noticing. Look how kind that one is to that person. That's a good person. Pay attention to how other people treat other people, right? Or other animals. You'll know what kind of a person they are by the way that they behave, right? And then watching all of this going on is a cat. The cat is very intent on what watching what's going on here. The cat is curious, right? Hmm, that's a really good person. You know what? Maybe that person has a reputation for something else. But I'm looking at this and I can make my own decision and I'm saying that person's got amazing qualities. Or maybe that cat's looking at that person saying, wow, you know what? That person would be really good for this. That's interesting. Oh, you know what? I've got a, I've heard of an opening for whatever, whatever. And I think this would be a really good person. You know what? I, I this is a very loving person. A loving soul their, their light from spirit is shining down on this one this kind-hearted energy and then at the foot of 
What I find really interesting is the cats. There's two cats, one in his left. Oh, this is a squirrel. Get ready for big changes. A significant change is occurring, but get ready for big changes. Also, let go of burdens, let go of the past, release. Uh, what I find really interesting is the cat is so intent on watching this person that he's not even paying attention to the fact that there's a little bird here. Everybody feels safe in this one's company. Safety, right? You're safe. You're safe in the animal kingdom and the animal kingdom feels safe with you. And there's butterflies all around, transformation. What's going on right here is there's another little rabbit down here and the little rabbit is just listening. They're not even looking up, they're just listening. Hmm, what is the, what is the boy saying? Are you learning something? This is a healer, right? Is this one speaking? Is this one singing beautiful words? This person, is this, is this little rabbit hearing something he needs to hear? There's messages coming, right? Song right now, it's bigger than this. It's bigger than all of us. This, there's so much going on. We are all connected. Everything is connected. Pay attention. This is amazing. I like pictures like this because I read intuitively, right? Correct for neutrality on all levels. Somebody may be moving. There's a little, or they may be having a new beginning, a new, a new job, a new home, a new baby, a new relationship. There's a nest in the tree, right? Maybe it may be somebody's nesting. It may be that you need you're something about a home that's coming, changing, somebody moving in, somebody moving out. In the back, and I'm hearing choices, all of those noises, all of those voices, choices, choices right? Listen, pay attention to all of this. Make your choices based on what spirit tells you. There's spirit whispering here in the trees. It's called an elemental, right? When I walk, I hear messages from spirit. When I, when I climb my rocks, when I mount the mountains, spirit talks to me. Correct for neutrality. Listen, it's bigger than this. Correct for neutrality on all levels. This is how we change this world and we are. I'm seeing somebody else right here. What are you down there? So hold on a second. It's bigger than this. It's bigger than me. I just want to make sure. That's a Robin, which means new beginnings. And he's wearing green pants, which is healing and love. Rabbit, squirrels, hedgehog, mouse, badger, Weasel, deer, dove, peace is coming to a situation or bring peace to a situation, transformation with the butterflies. The foxes, they're a couple. Curiosity, playfulness, observance, the art of observance. It's bigger than me. There's so many butterflies. He's wearing feathers in his hair. Whenever feathers appear, angels are near. I have a container that I keep, I keep my feathers. Everything that spirit drops for me, I keep my feathers. So your message is, I am a responsible, I am responsible for my life. So the message in this, I am a queen, I am a king. I am responsible for my life. I'm not responsible for your life. I'm responsible for my life. I make choices based on what is in my highest good, what spirit tells me. I'm not selfish. I am self-loving and I'm responsible for me. I take responsibility for my life. I don't take responsibility for your life, right? We all have a path, even our children. We are guardians of the children, but they come in with their own soul's path. So I'm responsible for my life. If I don't like something about it, then I need to do something to change it, don't I? And if I don't know what to do, I ask. And then I observe and I pay attention. I listen, right? And I see who spirit brings to me. Excellent message. All right, you guys, that's it. I like wrapping it up before 30 minutes and we're at 29 minutes. So if I can help any of you with a private reading, uh, my email address is sherrycolumbus at yahoo.com. And uh, you can find me on uh, Angels Whisper Facebook, uh, Sherry Columbus Facebook, Instagram, Sherry Columbus Angels Whisper. I'm on LinkedIn. You can find me. There's no excuse for not finding me. You can find me. And I don't do that because I love social media. I do that because spirit says use social media. You can reach many, many people in a positive way. And that's what I use it for. One just popped up right now. I deserve respect. I deserve respect. Say it to yourself and uphold it. 
So when people cross your boundaries, no, no, I'm sorry. I deserve respect. And I am respectful of others. So if I'm respectful of you, I take nothing less than respect for myself. I deserve respect. Love you guys. Take care. <laughs>